Hey guys, this is Patrick Seitz, and you are watching more Perfect Idol. We're getting down to the thick of it, seeing who's going to get all the way. I would like to talk to Abby. First, I'd like to say congratulations to Abby for reaching this point. Uh, why don't you take a second and tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay, well, um, my name is Abby Trot. I'm originally from Massachusetts, but I was living in Japan for the last six years. And recently, I moved to New York City in hopes of doing more acting, music, voice acting things. Excellent. You, you, you're all over the place, in the good way, in the good way. Um, I guess with that said, um, tell me a little something, something about your first piece of audition copy, whatever you think we should know going into it. Okay, so for my first piece, I want to do a character called Tamama from Guerrero Gunso, or Sergeant Frog, and he's kind of a... Uh, He's a little jealous of anyone who threatens his position, so he likes to be really close to the sergeant, and in this particular piece, he's being threatened, so he's not too happy. Excellent. <clears throat> Whenever you are ready. All right. <clears throat> uh, man, he really grinds my gears. I can't let him get to me. He ain't got nothing on this cuteness. But he is a lot nicer than me, so he could become more popular. Oh, don't worry, viewers. I'm not about to let that happen. Come on, private third class. We've got to introduce you to the other members of the platoon. Cool. Like it? Like the voice? Pretty straightforward. Now I'm going to mess with it a little bit because in you know a professional voiceover setting, you go in, you've seen the copy cold, you've never seen it before, and then after you've read it, the director might say, okay, you did that, do some totally different thing just to see how you take direction. So, show me that same moment, that same frog, if you will, mm -hmm. but now it is Greek tragedy. Greek it is being played in amphitheater. It is larger than life. Okay. It is a tragic <laughs> tale of gods and man and frog. So, would you just, would you like me to alter the voice quality as well? Uh, up to you, up to you. If, if you want to keep that same cute voice and have the juxtaposition of that against the situation working for you, you can. If you want to go a little more epic with the voice, Whatever your neighbors won't like, you know, kick your butt for. Okay. Uh, man, he really grinds my gears. I can't let him get to me. He ain't got nothing on this cuteness. But he is a lot nicer than me, so he could become more popular. Oh, don't worry, viewers. I'm not about to let that happen. Come on, Private Third Class. We've got to introduce you to the other members of the platoon. Nice. And it was like if Lady Macbeth were a frog. I like that. Uh, yeah, good. I like how you, you sort of just switch on a dime like that. Uh, let's move on to another one of your pieces of copy. Okay. Okay. シンパンの時が訪れる。あなたの予想は<笑> ほうじきんくなんでもかんでも私に回してくるこんなんするから思ったことなんでも口に出すな。ごめん。俺と勝負しろ。あの困ったさんはどこの。ひそひそするだ。鬼。鬼です。ジャパニーズ。何考えてん
So she gives this little speech. Okay. Okay. This is really wonderful. This is such a happy environment. It's too dazzling for me. This is the way people live their lives. Isn't it just beautiful? I'm envious. If I vanished now, could I start over anew? Could I accept normal happiness? If I lost my memories and got a different personality, I might be able to. But then, what does it mean to be reborn? That isn't the life I had anymore. It's someone else's life. Everyone only gets to live life one time, and it's right here. I only get it once. This is my life. I can't entrust it to someone. I can't steal a new one. I can't force it on others. I can't forget it or erase it. I can't stomp over it, laugh it off, or beautify it. I can't anything. I'd have to, I'd have to accept my one shot at life, no matter how cruel or merciless or unfair I thought it was. Sir, don't you understand? That is why I must fight. I must keep on fighting. Because, because I can never accept that kind of life. Nice. Oh, nice build. Very nice build. Dramatic um, one. Looking at this copy and hearing you say the words, I, I could be crazy. Um, but something about this felt kind of, like just, just the copy itself, the way it's written, mm -hmm. it looked like Sondheim lyrics on the page. Almost. <laughs> Um, okay. Could you give me something a little peppy? A little peppy. If you if you want to sing through any of it, that's fine. Again, I'm not expecting, you know, something perfect. I just want to see what you do with it. Because looking at this, I'm like, I could see a Sondheim character, you know, pitter pattering these as they went through the woods, or you know, at their Sunday in the park with George or company or whatever it is you want to have. Give me a little, just a little pattery something. Like, and even if you don't go into a song, like you're about to go into a song. You know, that sort of musical theater heightened. Raw, raw kind of feel. Okay. Would you like me to start at the beginning? Up to you. Up to you. I probably won't have you go all the way through. Um, but if there's a point at which you feel particularly good about starting, go for it. All right. Let me see. Everyone only gets to live life one time. And it's right here. I only get it once. This is my life. I can't entrust it to someone. I can't steal a new one. I can't force it on others. I can't forget it or erase it. I can't stomp over it, laugh it off, or beautify it. I can't anything. Let me stop you. Just want to try something? Take that same moment, at starting at this is my life, or, or uh, at everyone only gets to live life one time. Mm -hmm. Only thing I want to change, change all of the can'ts to can, and see what that does to it. Okay. Starting at everyone? Yeah, if you don't mind. Okay. Everyone only gets to live life one time, and it's right here. I only get it once. This is my life. I can entrust it to someone. I can steal a new one. I can force it on others. I can forget it or erase it. I can stomp over it, laugh it off, or beautify it. I can anything. I'd have to... I'd have to accept my one shot at life, no matter how cruel or merciless or unfair I thought it was. Nice, nice. Let me jump in. That was a real nice adjustment. I didn't hear it at the beginning, but then as you got into that list, I felt that, that opening up and that brightening of tone. That was very nice. Let's move on to your third piece of copy. Okay, sure. So this is Jesse from Pokemon, and Jesse is very upset. She's one of the... Team Rocket Trio, and she's kind of um, she's kind of prissy, I would say, kind of full of herself. And she was just uh, thrown out of the Poke Puff competition. She lost, and she's not happy about it. So here's Jessie. To think I was the queen, the top Poke Puff chef for all of Team Rocket. When it came to Poke Puffs, I was undefeated. The title of Poke Puff Queen will be mine forever. If I can't make my poker pups, no one can. Nice. Nice. Um, since that's a short piece of copy, mm -hmm. uh, make it double. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> give me um, give me something. Uh, give me Gone with the Wind. You are a southern belle who has fallen on hard times. Okay. God is your witness. You're never going to go hungry again. All right. 
To think I was the queen, the top poke pop chef for all of Team Rocket. When it came to poke puffs, I was undefeated. The title of poke puff queen will be mine forever. If I can't make my poke puffs, gosh darn it, no one can. <laughs> Bless your heart. Bless your heart. Very nice. Um, and then one more adjustment on that, just since it is such a, a short piece of copy. Mm. Let me get one where, um, since we've had two that were rather big and, you know, presentational, give me one a little more internal. You've lost everything. Um, you lost your prosperity, your meaning in life. Without, without this title of queen, you are an empty husk of a human being. Okay. <clears throat> to think I was the queen, the top Poke Puff chef for all of Team Rocket. When it came to Poke Puffs, I was undefeated. The title of Poke Puff Queen will be mine forever. If I can't make my Poke Puffs, no one can. Nice. Nice. That was really nice. Really good adjustments on those. <laughs> um, thank you so much for uh, letting us have this back and forth. I feel like it was really informative. It's a lot of fun. I hope you had fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> it's, it's really you great. Know, um, I guess have have a good rest of your evening. Uh, anything you'd like to say to the fans before before we call it a night? Um, I just want to say that I really love watching everyone's videos, and there's so many different kinds of talent and talented people, and it was really, it's a lot of fun. So thank you for everything, and thank you, everyone. Well said. Well said. And I hope uh, that the next time you're in the halls in your new place and the neighbors are looking at you funny, like, who's that crazy girl that's, like, yelling all the stuff? I hope you just, I hope you don't explain. Just let it be a mystery. Okay. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> cool. I'll talk to you later. Awesome. Thank you, Patrick. Mm, thank you.